what is up honeys it's king Brittany chanel you already know and i'm back with another video so i am super happy about as doing her family photo shoot or with her family in a photo shoot it was so beautiful i'm gonna give my commentary on the whole situation before i get started definitely make sure you like comment and subscribe share the video and yeah let's get into it <laughs> So getting into today's honey for the tea, y'all know that tea is life's bitter moments and the honey it represents the truth and the promises of Yahweh, honey. So we're going to get into it, the bright side of, you know, a negative situation. I'm super excited that Az is home with her family. I don't care what nobody say uh, with their negativity. You know, anybody that's against family is not of Yahweh um you know I don't care how much you like a person but to act like it's not a you know a happy situation that this girl is back with her family after you know being away from them for like three four years is crazy to me like I mean I don't care how it started what happened all I care about is just that family is reunited and that this this girl could live her life. She's 22. She's with her family. I mean, just seeing her mother's face in these photos, Alice looked like she is just overjoyed. And I love to see mothers overjoyed. It's something about being a daughter, seeing, you know, mothers overjoyed. I don't know about anybody else, but I like to see my mom, you know, overjoyed. You feel what I'm saying? So... To see a mother reunited with her daughter because, you know, just imagine what this lady was going through. Like, you know, her desperation and her perseverance. You know, the lady was just about that life on that stage. I tell y'all, I said Alice, honey, was the real MVP. She was about that life. So just to see, you know, as with her father, you know, with her, her siblings, um, I believe that was her nephew in the photo shoot as well. I didn't include that photo, but it just looked like it was just a beautiful occasion. And let me read to y'all what they are reporting on TMZ about this whole situation. So it says that Kay's ex-GF, uh, ex-girl, as Reese said, let's begin the healing back with her family. And I'm glad that healing is a part of this headline. Because all this other rigmarole and drama and the rest of this stuff, healing got to be the, well, Yahweh got to be the main priority. And then healing uh, could take place after that. Because, honey, this is this whole situation with the circus and a mess, honey. I, you know, if it ain't one thing, it's another with this whole situation. So I'm happy that this is the bright side of this situation. So let's see what they're talking about. This was posted 1-13-2020 at 2.48 p.m. And this is Pacific time. And it says that as and her family look elated, yes, they do, over her homecoming and committed to her recovering from years with Kay. The singer's now ex-girl took several pics of herself back with her whole fam, mom, dad, and siblings were posing and dancing and matching outfits. Didn't y'all think that that looked like an Old Navy or a Gap commercial? They looked so, like, adorable in the white T-shirts, and it looked like, you know, some type of jeans. I don't know if they was Levi's or whatever type of jeans it was. It looked, it reminded me of that or a Calvin Klein commercial. Like, honestly, Calvin Klein or one of them people, they need to hit them up so they could do a family commercial for jeans because they it was just so cute the way they was posed. And it just was simple. And then I like, you know, the white shirts because white is like a symbolicness of purity, morality, you know, a fresh start for things. You feel what I'm saying? So it just reminds me of like Yahweh giving you a new robe when you, you know, you have been in the filth and then he just restores you and renews you and give you a whole new robe, like spiritually. So... I like that part of it. And it says, um, 
they were posing and dancing and matching outfits and they said that they knew the reunion was coming but this is the first time they've actually seen her with her folks you know we recently saw the video or the live stream that angelo did with her and i felt you know i felt good seeing that just to see you know a dad happy that his 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 baby girl is back you know just imagine like some some dude just 50 something years old decide that instead of doing what the main objective was music he decides that he's going to do something else and i don't i don't think any dad alive is would be comfortable with an individual like that doing what Kay did to these women who was affected by this whole situation like i don't think any dad that's normal would be okay with that and it's just like i feel like you know angelo has been very vocal but i feel like he was very careful with his wording and in desperation for his daughter because at the time when Kay was you know running the streets his daughter was around him but it seems like you know as things changed and he he ended up you know being in the lockup we see that he's now a little freer to say different stuff you heard him verbalize and say that shoot he was basically like blank k <laughs> it was like some Tupac blank K and the click he claims type of stuff, honey, as you can see when he, cause he's putting out that series and going, um, you could tell it's going to be about certain enablers and people that support him also. So he just like blank, uh, K and the click he claim, honey. And also they go on to say that, um, Angelo and Alice, you know, are her folks. And the last time they saw her, I guess they say, was when she was 17, when she left to, okay, they say when she left to live with Kay and um, enjoy. She's now 22. And basically, they also go on to say that as caption the family photos, as surprise, let the healing process begin. Love y'all and thank y'all. And, um... And she says, I even thank everyone who follows me because you all believed in me when I could not believe for myself. She included the hashtag, hashtag moving on to better days. I know that's right, mama. Moving on to something bigger and better um, than this foolishness that this man had going on. And I remember when I did the last video where I talked about her, um, you know, the celebrity and stuff is going to come because of the whole situation. You feel me? And all that she has gone through, you know, I feel like to tell her story, that's a given. The celebrity and stuff and public figure status is going to come due to, you know, her affiliation and her story. And, you know, a lot of people, they kind of felt like, oh, well, you know, her pursuing her dream. I'm not against nobody pursuing their dream or none of, nothing like that. So don't get it twisted when I say I'm just saying that you have to be careful that you go through your healing process so that spiritually you're not attracting that, that, that person with that same type of spirit right after. And if we talking about that whole music industry, honey, I think in that music industry, if y'all really think Kay is the only one in that music industry, honey, you sadly mistaken. I feel like he probably angelic compared to some of these other bugged out folks in that music industry and I think he know that you know with Kay he's he was a little bit more urban and um because of the community in the shy that he comes from and you know I think that that's why he was so familiar with being around you know lots of people from around the way and the, you know regular people but in that industry they don't necessarily allow people to deal with regular people because of this type of situation because you have people like, you know, Azriel and these people now that they're able to talk about things that go on. Because Kay, believe me, is not the only one in that industry of people. Like, you know, there's people that really probably have people in, in a basement and stuff going on like that. That's probably way worse. Especially, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about, you know, L.A. and, you know, Oprah and stuff like that. And L.A. And, um you know having aspirations is cool but you have to remember that 
Um, nothing in this life is free. So, you know, I'm not saying this to, to, to you know, tear down nobody's dreams or nothing like that. But I, what I'm saying is, K is the way that he is because it's, it was people, you best believe it was people around K that was into the same type of situations. But K is being made an example of because... He allowed too many regular people in his circle that is now putting him on front street for all of this. So he's being punished for that, basically. So um, that's what I feel like um, is going on with that. But as far as the whole aspirations of celebrity and the rest of that stuff goes, um, you have to just keep in mind, you know, it's, you're, it's and I'm not saying this to be mean to anybody or whatever i'm just keeping it all the way real with y'all aspirations for that there's nobody that's the prettiest person that they get the model and they're giving them millions of dollars there's nobody that's the best singer in the world and they just deciding to give you millions of dollars or whatever they want you to participate and to get down with what they want you to get down with to uh to get to those heights and levels so just keep that in mind. This, you know, this young lady, she was messing with one of the um the hottest R and B uh people in the game. And now, you know, his whole legacy is nothing but some cardboard boxes because you can you can't when you when you make certain um agreements, you cannot be running your mouth or being negligent to the point where this stuff is coming to the surface. You bring too much attention to them. Honey, what they what they call it? What Lil Wayne used to say? The block is hot. Plenty. <laughs> K had the whole block with him. <laughs> he had the whole. Honey, it was what what's, what happened in that? Uh, I'm talking about. I think it was Hiroshima in Japan. He had it lit up. It was on some Pearl Harbor type stuff with him, honey. I don't know, but he had it um way too um lit up. So. I wasn't saying in that last video, like, I was just against her pursuing her dream of music. Because some people, they do use music as a healing process. But I'm saying, like, this whole you about to go do celebrity type of stuff or whatever, and you're not healed and built up. Because there's people that is moving way to, you know, they, they way more, uh, I would say, dark than um, K is. And you just got out of a situation like that. So I think that, you know, being around her family is good to keep her rooted and grounded and so that she could get some healing because you don't want to have that spiritual beacon to where you're attracting that same type of um, spirit. But also, um, I was saying, I like the idea of the fresh white shirts and jeans in the new wardrobe because that does symbolize healing and also a part of that healing process um you know if, if baby girl ever listened to this i would get rid of all of those clothes that in in items that he ever got you because that's a part of spiritual healing as well um you can't take that old stuff when you was in that that place with that into your your new healing process because that can hinder you. That stuff has spirits and stuff attached to it. And if that person was into some real bugged out activity and they gave you that, that's the type of energy that that's on right there. So, you know, you could bring an item and honey, it'll destroy your whole civilization, whole everything you worked for because you done bought the item with you, honey. Get rid of that them items and stuff like that. If, you know, a lot of the times I tell people when they break up with a person, depending on what the person's spirit was on, you got to get rid of that certain stuff. Like if the person was, you know, into some off activity, y'all see me all the time. Um, when I talked about who was, what was that, uh, that pastor, pastor D E T. Um, and he was giving women and stuff gifts. Remember when I reported on him and I told them women, get rid of that stuff. Because if that man is um, sitting out here, profit lying and doing all this negative stuff in the community, and he has an entity or dealing with entities and they're giving you that stuff. That's a no-go. You have to get rid of that, those items. So when y'all be hearing me talk a lot of the time, because a lot of people, you know, they're, um, they're not necessarily spiritual and they listen to me. But a lot of things, you know, you may not believe it. But it's people that's in, honey, these positions that's running this world. 
that they're very much in tune with the spiritual bull. So if you, it's like if you don't pay attention, you you can unfortunately become a casualty. Like that's just what it is. You know how when you when you go to a gathering or the chancery, darling, and the judge tell you ignorance is no excuse for the uh for the law. The spiritual is the same way. The law is still going to apply if you do not understand it or you just or you're not aware or ignorant means to ignore. So if you choose to ignore that, it's still going to stand. So it's a lot of people that watch me and they be like, oh, I don't I don't believe this. I don't believe that. But then if you peel back the layers on their life and they wondering why they going through, you know, stress on the job or why people just come in, uh coming for them or you know why they an accident after accident you got to take it back to what was you doing do you have an item from a person in your past that you you know the person had a spirit on them did you i don't need listen i don't even accept when people be coming up you know you at the office potluck and they trying to give you food Uh uh-uh i don't accept food i don't be accepting you know how people they be trying to give you their cards out in the street I don't be accepting none of that stuff because people be trying to, um, you know, put stuff on that stuff, man. I'm not into people touching me. I'm not into people, especially touching my crown. That's a, that's a number one, my hair. I'm not into people. You got to be careful about where you get your hair done at and what type of spirit the person got that's doing your hair and all kind of stuff, man. I'm telling you. So, um, when y'all hear me talking about the spiritual implications in this case situation, that's because it's serious. Like, if you take it back to K's situation, K was a youth who something, you know, and I'm getting ready to do, a, I think, a video on his, his brother. But um, K was a youth that he went through a situation, right? And he ended up not necessarily getting justice. He saw... That his mother accepted money and it started, that in turn started a whole generational situation on him. Because it's like you see year after year that same pattern repeated with this man since the 90s. It all started back to what happened to him as a youth and that spirit giving an open door to his life. And the mother, if you think about it, assisted with that because she the one who showed him if you get if you pay money, everything is good in the hood. When that man uh you know did what he did to Kay, the mother taking that money, even though the man, the people in the neighborhood dealt with the man, the mother taking that money. See, it's it's what you take from a person that have an off spirit. And it all it set up this whole stage for who Robbie Rob is. You get what I'm saying? So Robbie done turned into a whole, you know, other person from that one incident. And it done trickled, you know, year after year after year and got stronger and stronger and stronger because nobody decided they was going to shut it down. Until they became so big to where regular everyday people, like, you know, the Angelos and the, um, T.S. and them, bringing attention to it and you know they you know they had to be hotter than fish grease some people that don't like this sort of stuff that you know ever see the light of day they ain't had no choice at this time but to deal with it because he just had so many of these regular people that knew so much information so this is real interesting let me see what else they saying on this tmz i ain't mean to go uh super on y'all but i had to so her dad, Angelo, tells TMZ, we are just enjoying these moments right now, enjoying being reunited, you know, as a family. So it says they broke the story. I don't know why they be capped like this. Because it's just like, um, as Re put out her own news updates, like people just, they get on my nerves with this old, they putting out information first as if the information wasn't already on the internet. Okay, so anyway... As Re plans to seek, you know, help from, a, you know, professional help from a counselor to recover from, you know, um, the trauma that she went through with Kay. And honestly, when I seen that, I said, yes, you know, so God be the glory. The most high God is who I'm talking about. 
because that's the first start. Because when you see um, Asri, how she just, she's very happy, you know, in a moment. And then you see her, like, on the video, she was very emotional. And then you be at the point, see, a lot of people be talking about, oh, this is not what uh, a Vic would act like. But people who have gone through trauma, they respond different ways. That's why, you know, you have people that's licensed psychologists who are trained and who know that. Because every average day, everyday people who are not um, professional, they thinking of it from this particular way. People go through a stage. Some people, they go, they grieve. They go through a rage type of stage. Like, you know, you wanting to lash out and, and, and be smart with people. That's a part of a phase. That's a part of it. You wanting to go to blows with people. That's a part of it. You know, people have, a, they go through a range and an assortment of emotions when trauma happens to them. Some people to cope, they act super happy. Some people to cope, they, you know, they might be very sad or they might, you know, put themselves into their work. They might do a lot of things to cope. So I I wouldn't, if you're not a professional, be sitting there trying to say what a person is supposed to act like and what they're not supposed to act like because there's a whole book on an assortment of ways that people who have went through different stuff, how they could act. And so it's, it was very clear due to her parents saying that she went through a lot emotionally and it, it, she could have needed um, help then before she even met Kay because the, the story was that she broke up with a boyfriend and that caused her to be emotional to where she had to get treatment for that. And they wanted to initially cheer her up because music is what she loved. But, you know, it ended up you know, parents believing in her dream and they wanted, they wanted, honestly, like any other parent, like, I mean, we're being real. A lot of parents that are naive and they're not spiritually rooted and grounded, they will want their child to be a celebrity. Like, let's be honest because they're naive. They don't know, you know, what the industry is like, but I mean, by now I don't understand how people don't know when you could clearly see with your own two eyes, People be putting out interviews. They it'd be people that be insiders to the industry that tell you what is going on. So if you honestly think that uh, K is the only person uh, that is moving the way he's moving, he's just the one that we've uh, heard about because they're choosing to talk about him right now. But boo, if you you got to be uh, sadly mistaken, and it's just because you know parents naively want their their kids to be stars. That's why they call it Star Dumb. Star Doom. That's why they call it that, folks. You get your 15 minutes and you fall from the grace. So it's like they, you know, they put you on, they use you up, they spit you out. That's just how that goes. And so, you know, these parents, you know, in desperation, their daughter was going, you know, down trying and she felt a way. They felt that that was a way that that was going to make her happy again and you know these they have admitted to it that they you know were a bit naive and they they admitted to that that they were and it ended up being you know a a sad situation but look at how the most high has turned this whole situation around for this young lady's good that's the the bright and the positive side you know sometimes we harp on the negative but we need to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is God done got all the glory. The most high God done got all the glory in this whole situation, honey. She's back with her um her family. She can get the correct counseling that she needs so that she can go on and have healthy relationships. Because clearly the people running their mouth about this, clearly somebody that is um 17 and 52 that's just clearly not a healthy um age gap or a healthy relationship because it's like what 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 do y'all have in common what do you have in common you feel what i'm saying with somebody like clearly he had a lot of situations going on because in his youth he never grew up i would say in his mind clearly 
Because if you have any, you know, if you can relate to anything, y'all, I'm young, but I be, you know, if I talk to younger people, you know, out on the street or whatever, I don't have the time to understand what the heck they be talking about. You got to ask somebody to be like, what are you talking about? So, therefore, it's common sense to be like, this is not a healthy situation. Like, there's, there should be nothing that you have in common. Like, I mean, unless that's your um your offspring or your child or whatever that you're talking, you know, you trying to raise them or whatever. What are you doing? What was he doing? And then the fact that you got grown individuals co-signing this shows you this is why they don't let these people make no decisions for the uh country this is exactly why if people think that they that they making they uh 12 dollars an hour at the home depot and they think that they making decisions on who is going to be the ceo of this country they are sadly mistaken because you got grown people out here acting like this whole situation was normal and that should really let y'all know something if you ever wonder why certain people ain't allowed to make decisions, that is why. You know, honey, that's why they have when you get up on social media. How do you feel? Because they really want to know how you feel to see what your mindset is on, boo. Believe that. And you could clearly see some of these people that be up here acting a straight fool. What type of time they was on. Honey, I just, uh, when I was talking about her reuniting honey somebody came all the way for me in the comments and i said what kind of all spirit is this <laughs> that these people is mad that this girl is back with her family what is wrong with these people the only people that's against uh family is not people uh of uh, yahweh i'm telling you they not people of the most high god because he's not for any type of division period he's not for divisive and in- division type of stuff so you know, the only time that he would say, leave your kinfolk is if they taking you away from the things that are of Yahweh. So, I don't know what type of time these people is on, but blah, 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 blocked is what's going to happen if you come over here talking that, uh, that case supporter mess. Because I don't have time. It's one thing if you, like, it was a, it was a lady that was so respectful. She said, I disagree respectfully and you know, God bless. But you sitting there pressed, mad about the fact that people is happy that this girl is home with her family. Y'all need to get it together for real. So um, they go on to also say on here, because I'm, I'm about to wrap this up. They say the happy reunion comes just days after the situation with um, her and Joy, that tussle they had at Kay's condo as, you know, as was moving out. And it says during the scuffle... As claimed on camera, you know, a certain, what she said about her and Joy. And it says, you know, it gives you the whole overview of what happened with Joy. But the bright side of that situation with Joy is, hey, look at how Yahweh moved where um, La Policia was able to set up a reunion for her and her parents who had not seen her in years. So, I listen, I'm happy. Like, you know, people could say what they want to say about these parents, but... These parents look very, very happy. Uh, to you know, uh, TS was on his live, honey, singing praises, had some gospel music playing. I said, Look at God, <laughs> honey, he just be cracking me up. Good morning, like he about to give a sermon. I was like, Yo, yo, these people are super happy. I'm super happy for them. And what are y'all what are y'all's thoughts about um as this family photo shoot? Did y'all think it was cute? Like did y'all like their outfits? Let me know in the comment section in the chat and see y'all soon on the next video. Blessings to y'all. Hey honeys, thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring King Brittany Chanel Couture where you can find my latest merch. I upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out we have mugs we have wall tapestries canvas art pillows fleece blankets apparel and so much more thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video